shimmer or sparkle onto your cakes. Well, in this week's video tutorial, I've got three different techniques to show you just that. For the first technique, we're gonna be adding luster dust onto our cake to really make it shine. On the second technique, we're gonna be making it look like it's covered in these really pretty sequins. And on the third technique, we're gonna be adding some edible glitter. Okay, let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do before I start adding the different shimmery and glitter effects onto my cakes is I'm going to colour the fondant that is going to go over the cakes. For the colour of the glitters and shimmers, on some of these I'm going to be using the Metallic Luster Dust by Sweet Sticks and this one is in this really pretty diamond pink colour. So I want to colour my fondant as close to this colour as I can. To start with I'm going to add some of the Pale Pink by Colour Splash and just work that through my fondant. Now, this is more of a baby pastel pink than I want, so I'm gonna add some of the Sugar Flare Dusky Pink. Now, if you don't have a dusky pink, you can add a small amount of blue to pink to make it a bit more dusky. And lastly, just a very small amount of some brown. Once that's all mixed through, I have this really pretty dusky pink color, which is gonna be a great base. So I'm gonna roll this out and use it to cover my cakes. Now for the cakes, these are four inches by four inches and I'm actually using dummy cakes in today's video tutorial. I do have another tutorial which shows you in more detail how I cover dummy cakes, but it's gonna be the same technique whether you're adding these effects onto dummy cakes or onto real cakes. Now, the reason for coloring your fondant first is maybe you just wanna put some of these designs around the side of your cake. So this is gonna give you some color on the top of your cake. Another reason is if you're using luster dust, by having a base color behind them, you need to paint a lot less layers in order to build that color up. So the first technique I'm gonna do is gonna create a shimmer on the cake. So I'm using the Metallic Luster Dust by Sweet Sticks and this is the Pink Diamond. And I'm gonna be placing this directly on my cake. Now there are a few different ways that you can add this on and I'm gonna show you the comparison. So I'm gonna add some of that Luster Dust into my tray and you just wanna use a small fluffy brush. This is just one by Sweet Stamp. And you can take that Luster Dust and apply it directly onto your cake. Now, this is gonna give you a great shimmer effect, but I'm gonna show you the difference by adding in some alcohol, so creating an edible paint. So for this, I'm using some dipping solution. You can also add in just some ordinary alcohol, like vodka. Now, when we add this onto the cake, the alcohol is gonna evaporate. Now, I do find that using a dipping solution or a rejuvenating spirit, the alcohol does evaporate a lot quicker than if you were using something like vodka. Now, if we add this onto the cake, you can see that we get a lot more of a bold color. As that dries, it's just gonna turn back to a dust finish. Now, for this cake, I'm gonna go all the way over the top and the sides. And at the moment, don't worry if you can see any brush strokes. So I'm just working my way all the way around the cake. I'm gonna run around with a second coat just to make sure that I've covered that fondant in a nice, even coating. Okay, so I'm gonna wait a few minutes for that dipping solution to completely evaporate. So we're left with a dust finish. I'm then gonna take a really thick fluffy brush. So this again is just by Sweet Stamp. I'm gonna go in and buff the surface of my cake just to get rid of any of those paintbrush marks. So here we have the first effect and this one is creating a real shimmery finish on the cake which is just catching the light and becoming so reflective giving it quite a metallic look. Now luster dust come in so many different colours but you can make it whatever colour you need to match your theme. So the second technique I'm gonna do is I want my cake to look like it's got sparkly sequins all over the sides. So I've got another one of my four inch cakes and this has been covered in that dusky pink fondant. I've then got some white confetti sequin sprinkles. So these are just really small little white discs. Now I've gone for white ones as I'm gonna use some more of that pink diamond luster dust to color these, but you can get them pre-colored in some colors, especially gold and silver if you would prefer. Now to attach these onto the side of my cake, I am gonna be using some edible glue. Now I've also tested it out using piping gel, but I do find the edible glue dries a little bit quicker as the piping gel just remains slightly tacky. And this can be a problem if you wanna paint it with the luster dust. 
So I'm going to start by taking my cake and on the side of my cake I'm going to paint on some of my edible glue. Now I'm just taking a small amount of edible glue and just spreading this over so there's a nice thin layer. You don't want it as so wet that when you push the sprinkles on they just fall down the cake. Now because that edible glue can dry quite quickly I'm just doing small panels at a time. So I'm just painting around about three inches of my cake at a time. I'm then going to take those sprinkles and just using my hand just push them again against the side of my cake. Now I'm using quite a large glass board so any sprinkles that are not attaching to the cake are just falling onto that board. If you are using a slightly smaller board or you're finding that your sprinkles are going everywhere, what you can do is just place the board that your cake is on inside a baking tray and that's just gonna catch any loose sprinkles. So I'm just taking those sprinkles and pushing them into any gaps that I have left. Now if there are any areas where the sprinkles aren't sticking because that edible glue has dried, I'm just adding in a small amount and I'm just trying to fill up as much of that surface area as I can. Once I've done that first piece, I'm going to move any excess sprinkles out of the way and then just fill the next panel up with my edible glue. I can then go in again and just work my way around the cake until I've filled up all of the space. Now, if you find this is quite time consuming, there are companies that create similar molds to this. So you can push your fondant in and attach it onto the side of your cakes. Once you've covered the whole surface of your cake, you can then go in and if there are any areas you just want to build up with more of those little sequins, you can just add a bit of edible glue over the top and stick them down. Now, to give you an idea of how many sprinkles you're going to need, this cake was four inches in height and four inches in diameter. And I've used around 50 to 55 grams of my sprinkles. Okay, now I've covered the sides of my cake. I'm gonna leave this for that edible glue to dry before I add my color. So my cake has been left for around 45 minutes and that edible glue has dried. Now I'm gonna color this in the same pink diamond luster dust. So I'm gonna add some more of my dipping solution, just enough to make it runny. And I can then use this along with my small fluffy brush to add the color onto the sequins. So we wanna just dab the paint on. We don't wanna pull at those sequins too much as we don't wanna pull them off of the cake. So I'm just dabbing in, going over all the sequins and the fondant on the back that you can see between them. Now you might get a few that fall off, but you just wanna be as careful as possible. And I'm just going up to that top edge. Now, as well as luster dust mixed with alcohol or dipping solution, you could also use an edible paint. You just want something that's thick enough to cover those sequins and the fondant on the cake so that it looks like one piece. And you just wanna go round at the end, just making sure none of those sequins, especially ones that are on their side, you can see any of that white. So here we have this really nice texture effect that just looks like sparkly sequins have been attached all over the cake. Now I'm gonna allow that dipping solution to evaporate and for that luster dust to dry onto the cake and then you can transfer it onto your finished board. Now for my third effect, this is gonna be probably the most glittery one. So I've got another one of my cakes and again, I'm gonna be using some of my edible glue. But to this, I'm gonna be attaching these edible glitter squares. Now I've gone for a rose gold color to match our theme, but you can get these in different colors. I got these ones from the cake decorating company and they just come in this little pot and this small pot just holds seven grams of the glitter squares. Now, one thing that I do wanna make sure is there's nothing sticky on my board. So if you've used buttercream or ganache on your cake, you wanna make sure that there's nothing that those glitter squares can stick to. So any that fall off and don't attach, we can just pick up and push straight back on. So again, I'm gonna do it in panels. So around three inches across, I'm just gonna paint on some of that edible glue. Now, if you're finding when you're adding on your edible glue and you go to stick on your sequins or your glitter, it's not sticking, then just leave it around 20 to 30 seconds for it to become slightly tacky. Because this is quite fly away, I'm gonna use my large fluffy brush and just push that in, dab that against the side of my cake so it's just picking up those glitter squares. And just going around picking up any that have fallen onto my tray 
I'm going to go in with some more of my edible glue. Now, don't forget to let me know in the comments below which one of these effects is your favourite or do you have something else that you add to the side of your cakes to create a shimmer or a glitter effect? So there we have this really glittery, sparkly cake. Now to give you an idea of how many glitter squares it's taken to cover the outside of my cake, if we have a look at the pot, I've got about half left. So there's still quite a lot left in there. I'm then gonna leave that for that edible glue to dry so that I know that those squares are nice and secure on my cake. I can then transfer it onto its final cake board. So here we have the three finish techniques which you can use to add sparkle or shimmer onto your cakes. I really hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial and will be able to use some of these techniques in your own cake decorating. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, don't forget to give it a like. And if you'd like to see more videos like this and you haven't already, then don't forget you can subscribe to the Cakes Manage YouTube channel. You can also hit the notification bell next to the subscribe button and this will just alert you every time I upload a new video. Now I will put a list of everything I've used in today's video in the description below so you can find it there. So until next time, bye!